and you surround her with excellent shooters. Yeah, makes it tough to double, doesn't it? I would think as a defense in North Carolina, knocking down a three on this end. Tar Heels take the first lead through Usby. But they let Kunane get good position. It really was Bailey. Let Kunane get good position with five seconds to go in the shot clock. Yeah. Usby. It's another three. Good game so far for Usby. She has eight. Not hitting at her normal clip the last couple of games. Kayla Jones, she's now hit two threes in this game. Two, just one of seven from three in the last two. But let's not forget about Usby. Boy, North Carolina needed a bucket. Usby delivers. What she was able to do against Louisville. And, and she's right back on track so far in this game. Nine points, four rebounds. She's been such a tremendous facilitator. So good at taking care of the basketball. It's Todd Williams, tough basket for the Tar Heels. Janelle Bailey trying to get on the floor, does eventually create the turnover. Usby in transition, takes her time, gets the bucket. And so we know that basically any player can go off for NC State at any given moment, and that balance really showed in the third quarter. Polishinska, one of those key players. You were crunching some numbers in terms of North Carolina's wins versus losses. Watts. 20 points in a win at NC State in 2019. A rare mistake from the young sophomore Camille Hobby. But let's see if North Carolina can make NC State pay, and they do. But that time she cheats left Bailey open, and Janelle Bailey didn't make her pay. Watts open for three, nails it. North Carolina is going to knock off number four NC State and snap that three-game losing streak in grand fashion.